Are you curious like me? Well then, let's ask Google. History edition. Datome Gamer. That was an old intro. I just, I thought it would be cool to go find it and bring it back for this video. But anyway, my plan was to start in the year 1000 and go up a thousand years just asking Google random questions okay, about history. So, what happened? Or I mean, uh, what was going on in the year 1000? This says, William of Normandy invades England, defeats last Saxon King Harold II at Battle of Hastings, crowned William I of England, the Conqueror, construction on the cathedral in Pisa, Pisa, Italy, begins. Emergence of strong papacy, whatever that is, when Gregory Seven is elected. Okay, well, what is papacy? And how do you say it? Papacy. papacy. Oh, okay. Papacy. 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 The office or authority of the Pope. And here's the Pope. There he is. Look at the freaking Pope. Alright, anyway, I don't know. I don't know. So that's what was happening in the year 1000. I mean, that's a long time ago, right? So, what was going on in the year 1100? 1106 AD Battle of Tinchebray, an English war of succession came to an end at the Battle of Tinchebray in Normandy. It began with the death of William II, King of England, on August 2nd, 1100. This resulted in a 10 year war of succession. That's crazy. That's a long time ago. Okay, what happened in the year 1200? 1200. AD, University of Paris founded Philip II, King of France, issued a character to establish the University of Paris. The university offered a traditional liberal education. 1202 AD, Fourth Crusade, the Fourth Crusade began at the, at the behest of Emperor Henry, King of Sicily. Alright, we're moving up in the hundreds. I, I said thousands, but it's going to be hundreds. The Hundreds Years War, English and French kings fought for control of France. At least 25 million people die in Europe's Black Death, bubonic plague. Ming Dynasty begins in China. John Wycliffe, pre-Reformation religious reformer and followers translate Latin Bible into English. Okay, so that's when the Bible was translated into English. It was 13 freaking hundred. What about 1400? 1400 AD, Mongols invade Syria. In 1400, the Mongol conqueror, Tamer, Tamer only, invaded Syria after devastating Georgia and Russia. The next year, he laid waste to Aleppo, Dam Damascus, and Baghdad. In 1402, Tamerlane then went on to defeat the Ottoman Sultan at the Battle of Angora. So this is a long time ago because I don't even think George Washington was president until like 1770 or something so let's see 1500 100 years later Turks conquer Egypt control Arabia Martin Luther posts his 95 thesis denouncing church abuses on church door in Wittenberg start of the reformation in Germany Ulrich Zwingli begins reformation in Switzerland Hernando Cortez conquers Mexico for Spain. Wow. So yeah, the, the, there's a lot more that happens. This is just like the, the, the major things that happened. What was going on in the year 1600? King James Version of the Bible published in England. Rubens paints his descent from the cross. John Napier discovers log logarithm? Start of the Thirty Years' War, Protestants revolt against Catholic oppression, Denmark, Sweden, and France will invade Germany in later phases of war. Wow, that's interesting, isn't it? The year 1700, this is where we're getting into George Washington, kind of. 1700 to 1721. 
Great Northern War between the Russian and Swedish empires. 1701, Kingdom of Prussia declared under King Frederick. 1701-1714, the War of the Spanish Succession is fought involving most of continental Europe. 1704, First Javan Javanese War of Succession. Well, whatever Javanese is. Oh, dude. 1800. September 30th, the Convention of 1800 or Treaty of Mortenfontein, well, that's what, I don't know, is signed between France and the United States of America, ending the Quasi War. U.S. President John Adams becomes the first president of the United States to live in the executive mansion, later renamed the White House. So, that's, a, that's past George Washington, so let's see. When was George Washington president? And the answer is right there, April 30th, 1789 to March 4th, 1797. Since we're in the 1700s, earlier I was, I asked uh, when, when did the Boston Tea Party happen? When did the Boston Tea Party happen? December 16th, 1773. And by chance, I was, while I was playing the Flight Simulator 2020, I was flying over Mount Fuji in Japan, and I asked, I was curious, and I said, when was the last time Mount Fuji erupted? And it was also on December 16th, but of a different year, 1701, or I mean 1707. So, it was almost 70 years before George Washington became president, but both December 16th. Let's see. George Washington, or the Bo yeah, George, uh, I was talking about the Boston Tea Party, my bad. The Boston Tea Party happened December 16th, 1773. Mount Fuji last erupted December 16th, 1707. So I thought that was kind of ironic. All right, moving into the 1900s. This is getting into the era, the decade, or the century of when uh, I was born. Almost at the end of it. Whoops, forgot to, what was going on in the 1900s? Pop culture started up on September 6th, 1901. Leon Zolgosk shot President William McKinley. He died at 2.15 a.m. on September 4th. And Vice President Theodore Roosevelt is sworn was sworn into president in as president later that day. Anthony dies on March 13, 1906. The first underground portion of the New York City subway opens October 27, 1904. A hundred years is a long time to skip, but that's a lot of... I don't want to do every year, you know, so... Since we're in the 1900s, when was the first vehicle... 1885, 1886, the first automobile, the first stationary gasoline engine, engine was developed by Carl Benz, was a one-cylinder two-stroke unit which ran for the first time on New Year's Eve, 1879. And here's a picture of it. It's like a, a freaking tricycle with an engine, a one-cylinder engine, I guess. So let me ask, what was Henry... Ford's first vehicle. Uh, let's see. 1896 Ford Quadricycle Runabout. 1896 Ford Quadricycle Runabout. First car built by Henry Ford. The Quadricycle was Henry Ford's first attempt to build a gasoline powered automobile. It used, utilized commonly available materials angle iron for the frame, a leather belt and chain drive for the transmission, and a buggy seat. And there she is. Henry Ford's first vehicle and the steering wheel is a stick with a knob on it. Well, that's pretty cool, huh? All right, well, I guess I can ask what was going on in the 2000s. 21st century turning point in US history, 2000 to 2009 discusses the events that transformed America, including the presidential election of 2000, 9-11, the introduction of the iPod, the Iraq War, the human genome, the creation of Google, Hurricane Katrina, social networking, YouTube, blogging, illegal immigration. Oh, 
those freaking couple more questions and then I'll do a random question. What was the longest war ever? The longest war ever ever was the Iberian Religious War. The longest continual war in history was the Iberian Re Religious War between the Catholic Spanish Empire and the Moors living in what is today Morocco and Algeria. The conflict known as the Reconquista spanned 781 years, more than three times as long as the United States has existed. Man. And you know what's kind of funny? What is the shortest war in history? What do you think the shortest war in history is? A year? Five years? We'll check this out. The Anglo-Zanzibar War. The Anglo-Zanzibar War was a military conflict fought between Great Britain and the Zanzibar Sultanate, I don't know how to say that, on August 27th, 1896. The conflict lasted between 38 and 45 minutes, making it as the shortest recorded war in history. Could you even call it a war if it's not even an hour long? Is that even a war? Did anyone die? Did anyone get shot? Was there explosions and weapons and soldiers being sent overseas in planes? No, it was an hour long. I would call that the shortest argument. I wouldn't even classify that as a war, but that's it, what they said it is, but whatever. Okay, um... You know, I could go on about history more and more and more, but I don't want to make this too long of a video, so it's time for a random question. What is the furthest known galaxy? Hey, it, it's gonna, it answered my question. Or, yeah. Galaxy MACS 0647-JD. The galaxy appears very young and is only a fraction of the size of our own Milky Way. The galaxy is about 13.3 billion light years from Earth, the farthest galaxy yet known and formed 420 million years after the Big Bang. How do they know that? I don't know. Actually, all right, so down here it says people also ask. Let's check out these three questions and see what the answers are. What is the farthest thing we have seen in space? Farthest star known to science spotted by Hubble Telescope, Icarus, whose official name is MACS J1149 plus 2223, Lens Star 1, is the farthest individual star ever seen. It is only visible because it is being magnified by the gravity of the massive galaxy cluster located about 5 billion light years from Earth. Wow. All right, how long would it take to travel to the farthest galaxy? <laughs> too long, too long, dude. At the rate of 17.3 kilometers per second, the rate Voyager is traveling away from the sun, it would take around 225 trillion years to reach this distance. At the speed of light, it would take about 13 billion years. Now, I don't know if you know how fast the speed of light is, but traveling at the, uh, at the speed of light for 13 billion years is incomprehensible. That shows how far away it is, dude. Like, let's see. How many times does the speed of light go around the Earth? In miles per hour, light speed is, well, a lot. About 670 million miles per hour. So there you go. There's another way to look at it. If you're traveling 670 million, 616,629 miles per hour, it would take you 13 billion years to get to the furthest away galaxy. I think that's what the question was. Yeah. 625 million miles an hour, 13 billion years. Mind blown. That's insane. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Let's ask Google. Maybe my next one will be about space because you can go on and on about space. Awesome. Peace out. And if you haven't yet.